I'm seeing all my stuff on the lawn just going flying. I'm like, it's time to get downstairs, you know. The skies may be clearing, but homeowners are dealing with the aftermath of the storm that tore through mid-Michigan last night. It's our other top story tonight at 6. Thousands still without power, and many Michiganders are assessing the damage after winds reaching almost 70 miles per hour ripped pieces of their homes right off. NBC 25's Josh Marshall is in one of the hardest hit communities in Genesee County with more on tonight's top story. It's unknown just how strong this storm was for now, but the people in Gaines have their own classification. They call it quick and terrifying. The gusts coming in like 10, 15, 30, 40, 50, just getting higher, higher and higher. Just a bunch of everything going everywhere. Whether it's being called a tornado or severe storm, people on Ray Road in Gaines are calling Saturday's storm a close call. Your heart's already racing. You just got to get the family just went downstairs. Vance Taylor's porch is gone. His garage, an afterthought. It's turned into scrap metal just like that. Others on Ray Road are in a similar situation. Pieces of metal from a nearby farm quickly turn into a deadly projectile heading straight for Chris Irwin's home. We ran downstairs to see everything flying by the windows in the basement. Irwin's family is working to patch up their roof and repair siding, but they're all okay and now looking to what's next. Contact the insurance company and go from there. There are no injuries reported from the storm and gains, only damage to property and a lot of close calls. It was pretty intense. We're going to make it though. In Gaines, Josh Marshall, NBC 25 News. Consumers Energy tells Josh they hope to have the power restored in that region by Monday night.